So recently, I reviewed this laptop right here, which I got from Micro Center for $80, and I gotta say, that's a pretty good price for a new laptop. Though, the thing is, it has a bit of a cooling issue. So the manufacturer limited the CPU and GPU to a maximum of a total of 6 watts it can use, which is not that good because in total it could use actually 15 watts. The reason why they did that is because it was running a bit toasty. Very toasty. 105 degrees Celsius toasty. At least the manufacturer did something pretty good because they limited the computer to using 6 watts. And what that did was it brought the temperatures down to around 90 Celsius, which is nice. Though they forgot to lock it, or maybe they didn't mean to, so now people like me can go in there and adjust some stuff. So if I set the computer to use as many watts as it wants, that's when it starts getting toasty. So after the video, I tried to fix the cooling issue by taking the bottom of the laptop off and using a thermal paste as glue, and gluing two United States pennies to the cooler, and pushing the penny against the back of the laptop to hopefully maybe help with the cooling, which that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. So today, we're here to step it up a notch. I ordered a bunch of thermal pads, and I want to see what happens if I get all bunch of thermal pads and basically turn the entire bottom of the laptop into a heatsink. So as a baseline of how the laptop runs, with the slightly upgraded cooling in PMG Drive, it goes over and hits 103 degrees Celsius and then thermal throttle to try to not melt itself. So what my plan is to do here with the cooling is go over and get a few 2 inches by 2 inches thermal pads. I can't make a square. <laughs> make 2 inch by 2 inch thermal pads and layer them on top of each other until it touches the back of the laptop. Three wasn't enough, so I put four in, and it still wasn't quite enough, it seemed, because the temperatures of the laptop was still reaching 100 Celsius. So what I did was I went over and took the heatsink off and replaced the stock thermal pad with my thermal pads, hoping it would help, and it might have. Though I also managed to, um, lose one of the screws for the heatsink. That's fine. Three screws is enough, right? <laughs> So that's probably not helping it, but hey, at least it wasn't a too important screw. It probably was the most important screw out of all of them. Now, after the thermal pad upgrade, it still wasn't perfect, but it was an improvement. So, normally the laptop would go from around 60 Celsius to 100 Celsius in about 4 seconds. Well, now it takes several minutes, so that's an improvement. The only downside now is it still does reach the 100 of Celsius. Is that how people say it? It reaches 100 Celsius and then thermal throttles, but it takes a lot longer to do that. And I also tried to put a cooling pad under the laptop since all of the heat is going under the laptop. And that helped it a little bit. It wasn't quite thermal throttling, but it was still getting up into the upper 90 Celsius range, like 98, 99 degrees Celsius. But it was significantly cooler. Well, thermal throttling wise, it was significantly better. It wasn't cooler, it was just better because it wasn't thermal throttling. It's still trying to melt itself though. <laughs> it's only 10 watts, how hard is it going to be to cool this? But then I tried out Minecraft Bedrock, and it actually wasn't thermal throttling in Minecraft Bedrock. Even though it was running rather toasty, getting up into the upper 90s again, it was actually running better though. The game used to get around 45 to 50 frames per second on the low settings at 768p. Now it's getting around 50 to 55 frames per second, which is a little bit better. Then I tried out Cinebench R23, and it actually got a score of 892. Yeah, that's actually the highest score I've ever gotten on that CPU. Yeah, it gets beaten by Core 2 Duo, but hey, you know, at least it works, and it is getting a better score than it used to. This is a shorter video, but I just wanted to see if I can get this computer a little bit cooler. I think I succeeded. It's a little bit cooler now, and it's not quite thermal throttling immediately. Now it's only slightly trying to melt it by itself. <laughs> 